Hey my lovely TT, so in my last video I asked you guys did y'all want a video comparing Kiana J and Flo to him and his new boo? A lot of you guys answered back and y'all said yes. Look, this is on no messy stuff. There is just a lot of red flags and indicators in Flo's videos with his new boo versus his video with Kiana J. That can entail whether a guy is feeling you or not. So guess what this video is going to be called? He knows if you are the one now before we get into these red flags these indicators and everything like that i want to give a little backstory on kiana J and flo's little situationship so obviously it seems like these two started off as kind of like friends they were with the whole gang crystal jazz a couple of other youtubers like in the same house just vibing it out but eventually it kind of cracked down to just jazz crystal kiana j and Flo, and they kind of let it be known that they had something going on with all of the flirting and everything that they were doing now i do know that kiana j and Flo did say that they were single in one of the videos they said that they were single just doing their thing but they made it obvious that they were messing around with each other in a video it was uploaded four weeks ago by kiana j and it was called like a spicy truth or dare Flo actually admits that he did have feelings for kiana j do you have feelings for kiana is it true brother you said there no so he hesitates first and then he finally answers the question yes yes yes, yes, yes. 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 Also, in an Extreme Truth or Dare video, Kiana J let it be known that her and Flo was doing some stuff, child. She even admitted that he, you know, had ate her groceries. Now, this is just letting you guys know, look, they were messing around. They were having SEX. And, you know, Flo said he had some type of feelings for Kiana J. It was probably vice versa. I think that Kiana J had feelings for Flo, too. She had a lot of attitudes with him in a lot of different videos, definitely towards the end of their situationship, because she knew that Flo wasn't taking her 100% Serious, and I think that's something that she wanted now obviously these two have moved on they're in two different new relationships which congratulations to them but their situation ended on bad terms they ended up unfollowing each other on social media which happens with a lot of friends with benefits or deals or situations ladies stay away from that friends with benefits thing because somebody always ends up catching feelings anyways let's go ahead and get into these red flags and indicators now red flag number one his phone he's acting away with his phone now the way that flo handled kiana j with his phone was definitely different than the way that he handled his new boo with his phone i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys these video clips so you can see what i mean Now guys, watch the difference in his reaction to her asking for his phone versus Kiana. 15 seconds? Yeah. I mean, 60 seconds. 60? <laughs> yeah, most definitely. 15. 15 seconds. I don't want to go to your phone. You, you see me? I'm going to get inside. Get my phone. And, and hand it to her. Because I don't got nothing to hide. Oh, what did like, you do for it? Because I don't got nothing to hide. Come over here. No. Y'all see how I'm tip. You want that word? Now, the way that Flo handles Kiana J with his phone is completely different than the way that he handles Noonie with his phone. As you guys can see in those videos, now you would think that these videos are like months or years apart, right? But no, these videos are only three weeks apart. You would think that, you know what I'm saying, he learned how to be faithful through some months or some years, but nah, this only took three weeks for him to open up to a new girl and let her see the phone. Like I said, I understand that Kiana J and Flo let it be known Known that they were single and they weren't in a relationship but like i said obviously they have feelings there they were messing around and with kiana j wanting to see the phone and getting pretty upset after he wouldn't let her see the phone shows that there was a lot of feelings there 
And secondly, this just indicates, like I was the saying, one guys, who he feels like is the one for him is going to get completely different treatment than somebody who he's not sure about. He's confused about. If that's not already obvious, you know what I'm saying? This is for a lot of my young ladies who are just starting to date, just starting to have boyfriends. You know, a guy is going to let you know by his actions, not his words, if he feels like you're the one, if he really wants to take you serious. And all of the actions that he is showing to Noonie is letting it be known that he really wants to take her serious. He really likes her. He wants to show her that he's faithful. So, of course, you can have the password. You can have this. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I really want to be with you. And he already let it be known that he sees her in the future versus this is not things that he was saying about Kiana J. He was hesitant in saying that he had feelings for Kiana J. He didn't want Kiana J going through the phone because he was confused about Kiana J. He didn't really know if he really wanted to pursue her or be with her like that. But he was, you know, getting those benefits of still smashing. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I don't feel like, you know, if you're dating a guy, you should just want to go through their phones automatically unless you have really bad trust issues. And even then, that's not OK. You should probably get some counseling or something before you get into a relationship. But one of the ways to know if a guy is really taking you serious or not is the way that he handles his phone around you. If he's acting hesitant, if he's wrestling you for the phone, then obviously, sis, he's not really taking you that serious. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you should leave this person because if you already know what it is, if you, you know from day one y'all didn't have a serious relationship, then it is what it is. Now you already know like he doesn't have any plans on taking you serious, but if he really does like you, if he really sees you in the future, then it won't even be a problem. And plus, y'all will already have crossed that bridge about the phone. He'll already let you know, look, you can go through my phone. Here's my password. It won't even be a question. Now, look, like I said, I'm not saying that everybody should be trying to go through a guy's phone. I'm not saying that's the case. But if your phone, D-I-E-S, or say if your phone is broke or something like that and you need to, you know, use his phone to call somebody and he's acting hesitant, then that's a red flag, ladies, just to let y'all know. Now, let's get into number two. And number two is basically going to be simple. The vibes are completely different in the two videos. The way that Flo is acting with Noonie, he's all lovey-dovey. He's all over her. Like I said, he can't stop smiling and looking at her, staring and gazing at her and everything like that. Completely different than his videos with Kiana J. I feel like in his videos with Kiana J, he was mostly looking at the camera more than he was looking at Kiana J. Now, that's J. definitely another red flag. If he's giving you that, like, friend vibe, y'all just sitting next to each other, he's not really lovey-dovey on you, especially if y'all are just dating. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's only, like, a couple of weeks in or a month in, and he's just, like, you know, giving you that friend vibe, kind of staying away from you, not really all up on you, then that's kind of a red flag or indicator. Now, it could be be his personality but then again if you know he's all lovey-dovey in the dark when y'all by yourself doing what y'all do but then in front of other people or on these videos he's not really on you like that that kind of shows but in the videos with that flow was doing with Noonie, he's letting it be known like this is my girl versus in the videos with kiana j somebody who's new to watching youtube or new to watching their videos they wouldn't even know if kiana j and flow had something serious going on because he's not really on her like that versus if somebody's watching Nuni and Flo's video, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? These two look like a couple. They look like they're together. Look at the way that he is on her. And you know what I'm saying? I think this is pretty obvious, but I want to let my ladies know this, like I said, because I feel like as a lot of women do and as a lot of young girls do, they see the red flags, they see the indicators and they stay and they stick around to see if maybe things will change. And I'm here to tell you things will not change, sis. They will stay the same. The only thing that will change is that maybe he'll leave you and start treating somebody else better. Guys are very straightforward. They're going to let you know how they feel through their actions, not their words. It's going to be the actions. And I feel like a lot of ladies get upset about this because of their expectations for the guy. But you can't really get upset if a guy is confused about you. Not every guy is going to be 100% sure if... He wants to wife this girl or just want
one night or a couple nights this girl you know what i'm saying don't get upset about it because every guys i'm not sure about her is another guys she's exactly what i've been waiting for and praying for so you'll find the right person for you it'll be a guy who comes along who feels and knows and is going to show you that you are the one for them like i said it's no shade in this video kiana j she's a beautiful girl like i said um she already obviously moved on and this guy will probably treat her a little better treat her like she is the one but this video is just to advise my young ladies my ladies who are just dating and stuff like that you know what i'm saying these are some red flags to look out for once again my lovely tts thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so y'all notified every time i upload look y'all asked for the video i gave it to y'all congrats to flo and nuni i think they are super super cute together and congrats to kiana j and her new boo like i always say my lovely tts i will see y'all in the next video